such as with the Section 179 deduction, which is put in place not for accounting reasons, but typically more for politicians trying to win favor kind of things and that type of stuff, stimulate the economy and so on and so forth. So we're looking specifically now at the Section 179 deduction. All right, how do you elect the deduction? So the idea here being we have something like depreciable assets. We can't expense it, but rather have to put it on the books as an asset, meaning putting it on the depreciation schedule and then depreciating it. And so now once we do that, we question as to whether we can take the 179 deduction, which would allow us to depreciate more in year one, possibly all of it in year one, which means... We could have just expensed it and we would basically be in the same place, but we have to, of course, put it on the books as an asset and then do the 179 election because that's the way the tax code has, in essence, developed. So if we want to do that, which typically we would if we could,